commissioners, distinguished guests, and most important, the almost 4,000 cohorts present here. Good morning. Uh, Your Excellency, I'll be very brief and I'll not attempt to speak the kind of Kiswahili that Aisha Jumwa uh, is good at. But I'll just uh, say one or two things very briefly because um, this is how government is formed. Yesterday, Your Excellency, I had the privilege of accompanying you when you led this country jointly with the Ambassador of the United States and the Deputy Secretary of State for Trade and Investment. And in that session, you made very significant pronouncements of your determination to make sure that this economy is growing and attractive to Kenyan investors and to international investors. Your Excellency, at that forum, you are able to close many deals, but let me just speak to two you are able to have the closure of Moderna. And uh, I saw Moses Kuria here. Moderna, a huge medical player globally and in the United States, putting a signature to come and invest 500 billion shillings here in Kenya to set up a medical facility. 500 billion US dollars. In Kenya shillings, at the current exchange rate, maybe it's about 80 billion Kenya shillings. Over and above that, you are also able to unlock some bureaucracies and you have laid the foundation for Amazon to come and set their regional headquarters here. <laughs> Surprisingly, none of those critical things were given the headline. What was given the headline were people moving around without direction in the cities. Why am I bringing up this here? I'm bringing this up here because for any nation to attract investment, it must have an efficient, reliable, dedicated, educated, and competent public service. <clears throat> Private sector will not create jobs, will not pay taxes efficiently and so forth unless it's anchored with an efficient public service. And that public service must be nurtured. So as we are here today, and this should be taken very significantly, that the president is affirming that to him, it is time for business and nothing else. We need to get together. We need to develop our capacities. We need to create jobs. We need to make sure that Kenyans have Pesa Mufukoni. 
And we have to start with an efficient public service. The president will, is here today with us, and I think in a few days' time, he'll also be looking at performance contracting, again dedicated to public service delivery. These are very strong messages, very significant messages that we need to step up and have efficient public service. I also wish to commend the Public Service Commission. This is a noble initiative. You are doing a fantastic job. You've done a fantastic job. Personally, I am persuaded that you deserve more help, uh, but I'm not the one to make that decision. That is the decision for my boss. But I am certainly persuaded that the resources that you have been accorded for this program have been utilized effectively, and it is a program that we should continue to consolidate. Your Excellency, I end there, and I would like at this juncture to request the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, to step forward, make his remarks, and invite you to speak to the nation. Thank you.